Welcome everybody and back to another video and in this video I will show you how to convert between time durations and the number of seconds. So it's going to be really good you know it's, for, it's a little for mass. So before we start please don't forget to like the video, subscribe, comment and hit the notification bell icon and let's start now. There is a thing to remind you that this video will be a little bit hard to do, but don't worry, you will be fine. As as long as you do some practice, you will know what to do in this video. So the first thing we will do is we will convert duration timings into seconds. So we will be converting duration into seconds, you know. And I will show you how to do that instantly, you know. I'm going to teach you how to do that right now. I mean, how to do that right now. Let's read this now. If a video is 29 minutes and 22 seconds long, how many seconds in total are there in the video? So it's basically telling us that a video is 29 minutes and 22 seconds long. But how many seconds are there in the entire video? So to solve this problem now, we want to explain what's going on there. Uh, there's just there's a video, you know, and it has a duration of 29 minutes and 22 seconds, you know. So if the video is 29 minutes and 22 seconds long, then how many seconds will be there in the video? You know, let's find out. To work this out, we need to write this as time duration like this. So, there is a video with 29 minutes. All we've got to do is we need to know how many seconds are there in 29 minutes. We will come back to the seconds in the duration later. So, all we've got to know is that 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute. And 60 minutes is equal to one hour. So one minute means 60 seconds long. So how much will be 29 minutes then? Well, in case, if there are 60 seconds in one minute and we are looking at 29 minutes, then all we've got to do is we need to multiply 60 by 29. But how do we do that? So let's just keep it to 6 times 29. We can swap it around and it would be 29 times 6. And let's also just say that 6, we can break it up into 2 factors, which is 2 times 3. So 6 means 2 times 3, right? So let's multiply 29 by 3 first and we get 87. And we're going to multiply 87 by 2 and we get 174. And 174 is what is 29 times 6. But we are looking at 29 times 60, not 29 times 6. So all we've got to do is we need to multiply that answer by 10. Because we can't just keep it as 29 times 6. It has to be 29 times 60. So we did 29 times 6 right but we are looking for 29 times 60 so in case we need to multiply it by 10 you know so 174 times 10 is 1740 so 29 minutes equals to 1740 seconds but that is how many seconds are there in just exactly 29 minutes. So, just 29 minutes equals 1740 seconds, but we are looking at 29 minutes and 22 seconds long. So what will we do? Well, I suppose we need to add 22 to 1740. And what do we get? We get 1762. So 1,762 seconds is equal to 29 minutes and 22 seconds. 
So, if we had a video which is 29 minutes and 22 seconds long, we would have a video which has 1,762 seconds in total. We can do another one, but we need to do be a little bit quicker because time is ticking. So, let's move on to our next one. So, for our next problem solving, we are looking at a boy who was sleeping for 13 hours, 27 minutes and 14 seconds. So, how many seconds did the boy sleep in total? So, now we have hours. We need to discuss how many seconds are there in one hour. So, if 60 seconds mean 1 minute, then 600 seconds would mean 10 minutes. And 60 minutes mean 1 hour. So, in fact, we need to multiply 600 times 6, and we would get 3,600. So, 1 hour means 3,600 seconds. Happy now? So, let's go and move on. So, if we are looking at 13 hours and 1 hour means 3,600 seconds, then we need to multiply 13 by 3,600, which is in fact 46,800. You can check that in the calculator. Now, looking at 27 minutes, how much seconds would that be? So let's split it into 20 minutes and 7 minutes. 20 minutes means 60 times 20 seconds and 7 minutes means 60 times 7 seconds. Add the products together and you will get 1,620. So 1,620 seconds mean 27 minutes. And all we've got the remaining left 14 seconds. So now you can see 46,800, 1,620 and 14. All we've got to do is we need to add those numbers up together. Which is 48,434. So the answer to the question in blue is 48,434 seconds. So if you sleep for 13 hours, 27 minutes and 14 seconds, then you would sleep for 48,434 seconds. Part 2. We are looking at how to convert seconds into duration. So there was a video about counting up to 1,000. So how long will it take to record that video? Well, obviously, we would have to convert from the number of seconds into time value. So we know that we need to find 1,000 seconds in time value, which is time duration. So all we've got to do is we need to place minutes. That means you need to use minutes to go close to 1,000. Let me show you what I mean. Like 10 minutes mean 600 seconds, so 20 minutes will mean 1,200 seconds. So the number of minutes in 1,000 seconds will be somewhere between 10 minutes and 20 minutes. Let's find out. So if we choose 20 minutes, that would be 1,200 seconds, and that is bigger than 1,000, so we need to pick 10 minutes then then we've got five minutes which is 300 seconds so if you add five minutes to 10 minutes you will get 15 minutes so if you add 300 seconds to 600 seconds you would get 900 seconds but if you add six minutes to 10 minutes you would get 16 minutes Six minutes are 360 seconds. If we add 360 seconds to 600 seconds, we would get 960 seconds. 
But what about 17 minutes? That would mean we need to add another 60 to the number 960. And that would give us 1020. But 1020 is bigger than 1000. So we can't do 17 minutes. Then if we can't do 17 minutes, then I suppose we just have to do 16 minutes. So 16 minutes is 960 seconds, so 960 is closest to 1000. All we've got to do, we need to look at the remaining left. So we have done 16 minutes, which is 960 seconds. All we've got left is 40 more seconds to go to 1000. So we are looking at 1,000 seconds and we have 960 seconds. The remaining left is 40 seconds. So we can add those 40 minutes to the 16 minutes and we will get 16 minutes and 40 seconds. So the answer is 16 minutes and 40 seconds. So if you were making a video which was 1,000 seconds long, then it would have 16 minutes and 40 seconds. So, oh no, we've almost run out of time. So, we need to see you later in another video. And as I said before, do those four things I always say at the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon. So, bye!